A very impressive showing from designers and models alike. And we'd also like to wish a very good luck to Nyoma Anosike as she takes on the international world of modeling. And speaking of international hotties, we caught up with Hollywood heartthrob Boris Kojo as he gave us all the scoop on his love, life, and future plans. Hey, this is Boris Kojo. You keep watching 53 Extra. The reception here in Nigeria has been amazing. People have been so friendly and I'm very excited to be here for it. Nigerian food is good. It's very similar to Ghanaian food, so I know it very well. You know, my, my father's from Accra, from Ghana. Yeah, I love the chicken stew and the beef stew and, and, uh, and all that stuff. Growing up, I was inspired by uh, my coaches. I was inspired by other kids uh, I grew up with. And, um, you know, my mother and father both always established values and, and to be confident, to be proud of who we were as people. And uh, so that's always helped me throughout the years. Tennis was my life. That's what I played growing up in Germany. And I, uh, I wanted to pursue a career in tennis. And uh, unfortunately, my back sort of destroyed that dream. You know, I had, I had severe back issues and I had to stop playing. But uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. It landed, it landed me in the United States. And I got a scholarship and I studied. I got a degree and then moved on to modeling and later on acting. So it's a blessing. As an actor, you try to, to portray different characters in different genres, from acting to romantic comedy to comedy, drama. I've been fortunate enough to, to have opportunities in all different you know, uh, uh, genres. The action genre is one of my favorite you know, genres. So uh, being a part of the Resident Evil franchise has been it's a dream come true. You know? It's like uh, being a, a kid in a candy store. You know, fashion has always been a, a part of my life growing up. It's always been a way to express yourself. And even when we didn't have money, we always found a way to you know, find different clothes and to sort of uh, uh, you know, to, to fix them up, to make them match. It fills me with pride to be able to offer people um, a chance to express themselves uh, through their clothing without having to spend all their money. My muse. I'm inspired by um, my wife, my kids, uh, uh, the legacy I want to leave through my kids. Um, I'm inspired by other actors, artists. Uh, I'm inspired by fashion. I'm inspired by anybody who who uses their platform to affect positive change. What's next? I got a movie coming out called Addicted. It's based on a book, on a novel that deals with um, sexual addiction. So it's a dramatic role. And then we have the, the, the next season of The Real Husbands of Hollywood coming out, which everybody seems to love. It's a lot of fun. And we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens next. Hot, talented, and hardworking. We'll definitely be keeping an eye on you. If you want to keep your eyes on all that's buzzing in the world of fashion and entertainment, then stick around, because when we get back, we check out all the fantastic displays at the Creativity Exhibition, catch up with the fast-rising Afro-Soul artists, plus we have the big-hearted Katarina Botolusi of Kinabuti on our hot seat. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 